What's going on people? It's your boy the Black Glove and uh it's been a while since I posted a video, but I really feel like I need to address a commentary that I did a while back. About five months ago, I did a commentary speaking about what I thought Black Ops 2 was going to be like, what game I felt it was going to resemble, and what I said was Black Ops 2 was going to be most like Black Light Retribution. Normally, when I make assumptions on a game, I usually base it off of, you know, some sort of fact, statements, you know, I saw tons of video, articles, and I based my opinions off of those, but you know what, when it comes down to it, I was wrong, and I'm mad enough to admit that, and I want to explain something about it. Blacklight Retribution, in case you guys don't know, it's a free-to-play, near-future, first-person shooter. That game is completely different than this, outside of the fact that it's a first-person shooter. The customization options in it, the setting, the, the, the maps, everything about that game is different from this. Early on, about half a year ago, the news that we got on Black Ops 2, articles, interviews, everything that we got on Black Ops 2 really made it seem like it was going to be this huge jump from what we were used to near future settings so the technology would be different you know the weapons would be different the maps would be different lo and behold that's not the case and i'm not saying that this is a bad game what i'm saying is the idea that they were taking a gamble with black ops 2 and kind of changing the formula a little bit in call of duty that didn't happen what we got was less of a fun public game and more of an MLG based game but in actuality what they did was they just reskinned and retitled different aspects from previous Call of Duties. Even the score streaks are pretty much the same with the exception of a few like the Guardian and the, uh, the, the Hunter Killer and the Drone Swarm you know. Stealth Chopper is still a chopper, still an attack helicopter, just doesn't show up on the minimap for the enemy team. You still got Blackbird, they just call it a VSAT. You still got dogs, and those are still the fucking same. So, what I'm trying to say here is, they didn't take as big of a gamble as they originally made it out to be. You know, all the interviews, all the videos, everything that we read and saw indicated that this game was going to be a huge jump from the previous Call of Duties. It'd be the first one to go into the, uh, you know, the, the, the 2000s like that, you know what I'm saying? It would be a huge difference from Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, but it's really not. And I'm not saying it's a bad game because of that. What I'm saying is, Treyarch didn't take the gamble we thought they were taking. Do I think that hampers the game? Do I think it changes, you know, the fun factor in this? Yes, I do. I think that if they took more of a gamble, this game would be a lot more fun. Do I think it's a bad game? Not at all. With the exception of a few tweaks like connection and maybe a few weapon buffs and nerfs here and there, the game could be a lot more fun. And more than anything, you know, maps would be a big change in the fun factor of this game. I think a lot of the maps in this game are pretty dull with the exception of what you're watching right now on Hijacked. There aren't that many maps in this game I could say I really enjoy and feel like Call of Duty. You know, every map in this game has a head glitch spot every, like, five feet because it's designed for MLG and that whole competitive atmosphere. The thing is, the competitive atmosphere isn't what brought the fun factor into Call of Duty. That's kind of an added bonus if you're into that type of thing. So, like I said, I was wrong when I said that this game would be like Blacklight Retribution. I was wrong. You know, as a free-to-play, first-person shooter, Blacklight Retribution does everything you want it to do. The customization options are, are immense. There's no campaign or anything like that, but that game is a standalone, different game, and Black Ops 2 is Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty like you thought it would be. It's the same Call of Duty it's always been. Not much has really changed. Just a just a reskinning, reimagination, whatever you want to call it. It's still Call of Duty. Alright, so I take back what I said. I acknowledge I was wrong, and I want to get this, this commentary out to you guys because, you know what, there's still people who haven't bought this game, there's still people who's, who are trying to figure out whether or not they want it, maybe their parents are going to buy it, buy it for them for Christmas or whatever, but 
The fact of the matter is this. It's not a different Call of Duty than what you would really expect. Are there aspects and elements in the game that kind of change the way you play it? Sure. But it's still the same game. And that's what I want to get out in this commentary. So, for anyone out there who hasn't gotten the game yet, and you're still on the fence about it, it's not that different of a Call of Duty. It's pretty much the same thing you've gotten every year. Just a few changes here and there that, that affect the way that you equip your character or the way that you play on a map. But in terms of the gameplay itself, it's the same run and gun, first person shooter, arcade shooter that it's been. It just has an MLG element added to it. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed this commentary. Once again, I apologize for what I originally said, but you know what? We make mistakes in this line of business. At least I'm man enough to admit it. It's been fun. I'm your boy, The Black Glove, and I'm out.